let us now go for the creation of isometric figures as i said previously microstation software does support the creation of 2d drawings as well as isometric drawings and 3d modeling as well we'll be now seeing how to create isometric figures in microstation basically the difference between an isometric figure and a 3d model is that you will be representing a isometric figure in a 2d plane by that i mean suppose you have this object whatever this object is present over here if you want to represent this object or any other rectangular block for that matter suppose you have this cube over here if you want to show this or if you want to create this you will have to specify the length the width as well as the height of the object all the three dimensions x y and z are represented for that particular object however you will be representing those dimensions along a single x y plane that is you will not be going or venturing out into the z axis you will be creating your drawing in the xy plane itself that is in a single plane you will be using three different axes with which you will be showing all the three dimensions of an object now over here you can see this particular block placed over here you can see this is the first dimension this is the second dimension and this distance is the third dimension all the three dimensions of this object can be represented in a single plane that is the xy plane using three axes the first axis is the 30 degrees axis the second axis is the 90 degrees axis and the third one is the 150 degrees axis using these three axes you will be generating the representation you will be generating just the representation of a 3d model in a 2d plane you won't be creating a 3d model at all you will be representing it as a 3d object in a single plane if at all you are going for the creation of 3d models you will be using the z axis as well whereas in isometric figures you do not use the z axis you will be only using the xy plane okay now how to go ahead and do this for this firstly you will have to keep in mind that whenever you are creating any object you will be creating it by using the three axis with respect to three planes the first plane over here is the right plane the between the 30 degrees line and the 90 degrees line the second plane over here is the 90 degrees and 150 degrees that is the left plane between 90 degrees line and the 150 degrees line and the top plane is between the 30 degree line and the 150 degrees line in this way you have three planes all right which you will be using for the creation of your drawing now when you look at this object this object when you are going to see it from the top side from this direction in this way towards down vertically down you will be able to see this shaded region this shaded region over here and this shaded region these regions are visible when you look at this model from the top side from the top view okay. similarly when you look at the object from the left side you will be able to see this portion this portion the shaded portion and this portion in this way all right so that is how or do those are the faces which will be clearly visible when you go with the left view or when you look at it in the left plane similarly when you look at the object along the right side that is from this direction in this way then you will be able to see this shaded portion this is the shaded portion from here to here all of this this is your right plane and this was your left plane in this direction next so i said we'll be using all the suppose you have a cube like this which has length equal of course since it's a cube the length width and height will be equal 
So I will first try to create this cube over here in microstation using your isometric option. Now suppose if I want to draw this line, I can directly use the option. Like I said we have 30, 90 and 150 degrees, 3 axis. Instead of drawing the lines along those distances, that is I will go with my acute draw and hit spacebar and I am trying to create an object which is 20 units long enter and which is at an angle of 30 degrees enter and left click in this way you have created the first side now go in the vertical direction again go with the distance as 20 units enter and left click now in order to come over here in this direction again you will have to calculate the angle or again if you are trying to draw the figure from here you will have to calculate the angle as 150 whatever you have to do you will have to calculate the angle each time and enter the angle each time instead of using this inconvenient method what you can do is you have an option over here called isometric locking sorry right the option is isometric locking this lock symbol over here in the beginning of these sessions I had said when you go with the axis option you will be locking the axis when you select this the line will be moving only along horizontal and vertical in no other direction will it move All right. that is the axis option when you select the isometric option that is I am deselecting axis first I am going with the isometric option when you select the isometric option now the object will be moving along only one plane all right select this and now it is moving along the vertical and it is also moving along the 30 degrees line it is not going to move horizontally it is not going to move at 150 degrees axis line it is only moving between 90 degrees and 30 degrees so let us check over here between 90 degrees and 30 degrees we have the right plane so that means right now the object is going to be created along the right plane select this in this direction and let me enter the value as 50 enter and left click All right. then come back to the vertical direction 50 enter and left click in this direction now I need not calculate the angle I can directly enter the value in, since it's a cube I am entering the same distances in all the directions and I need not keep entering the same value again and again it will automatically snap to that value this line which you see over here indicates the snapping and even in the acute draw you can see the distance is given as 50 units if I move my cursor further it will change to 58, 60 etc if I go back it will change to 28 near 50 units that is the last entered value it will snap click over here and again come back and place it over here all right now this was how you have created this portion the right side portion of the object next you need to create the left side portion in order to come to this left side view or left side plane you need to have the axis between 90 degrees and 150 degrees over here I'll go to the full option and right now the right option is selected click on this and select the left option let us move this a little now after I start over here I'll be now able to move between the 90 degrees line that is the vertical line and the 150 degrees line in this way since you are presently in the left plane left isometric plane I'll move in this direction I'll snap at 50 then vertical again 50 units and come back in this direction 50 units now you want the top side so again I will come out of the line command select this and go with the top option select this side 50 units over here and 50 units over here that is how you have created your cube now if you look at it it appears as if the wireframe representation of a 3D cube a solid cube is being represented in this way however you have basically drawn lines at angles or inclinations in the same XY plane to represent this but still you can use this figure 
to specify the length, width as well as the height, all the three dimensions of the object. So it is neither 2D nor it is 3D. You can think of it as two and half dimensional representation. Okay. So this is how you have created this cube. Now next, a better or a convenient option using the all option over here, we'll be seeing how to use this all option as well as how to place the circles in this way. Let me stop this session over here. Let us resume in the next session.